biomass loss is due to not all of the ingested material being absorbed and some being egested as faeces. As there are lots of scientific words in that sentence, what do these words mean? So there are three key words that we just spoke about. Ingested means taken into the body. Egested means discharged or excreted from the body. And faeces mean poo. In this image, you can see a cow eating grass. Now, some of the energy this cow gets from the grass will be lost as faeces. This is because some of the material from the food eaten is not absorbed at all and therefore passes right through and comes out as faeces. How else is biomass lost between trophic levels? Some absorbed material is lost as waste, such as carbon dioxide and water from respiration, or water and urea in urine. Remember that respiration is a chemical process that transfers energy and produces water and carbon dioxide as waste. Water vapour and carbon dioxide waste from respiration is lost via breathing out. Water is also lost in urine, as well as the waste urea produced from protein breakdown. Is there any other biomass lost via use? Large amounts of glucose are used in respiration. Remember that respiration occurs in the mitochondria of cells and uses up a lot of glucose, resulting in biomass loss between trophic levels. So how much biomass is lost at each trophic level? Biomass loss means we rarely see food chains longer than three or four organisms. Only approximately 10% of biomass is passed on. In this example, you can see that if we start with 100 units of biomass, by the third organism, we're already down to one unit. You don't need to know these numbers for the exam, just know that biomass is lost going up trophic levels. What are the implications of this on the number of organisms? Less biomass passed on to each trophic level also means fewer organisms are supported at higher trophic levels. So at the bottom of the chain in this example, we have one tree with many leaves. These leaves are enough to sustain 200 caterpillars. In turn, these caterpillars are enough to sustain 20 birds. However, these 20 birds are only enough to support one lion. This example clearly shows that the higher up the food chain you go, the fewer organisms are supported. This biomass loss is the reason that it's very rare to see food chains longer than four or five trophic levels. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.